Hi friends, so today in science we are going to be talking about birds habitat and habitat has four major parts, four important pieces. Shelter, which is where something lives. Water, which of course we all need to drink and so do animals. Space, they need space to move around. And food whatever that animal or animals eat. So today we're gonna focus in on the shelter part of a bird's habitat. So like we said, an animal's uh, habitat needs to include shelter and a shelter is where an animal lives. What's the purpose of a shelter? Why do animals need it? Well, there's a few reasons. First, they need somewhere where they can be safe from predators. There's lots of predators who would like to eat either the bird or the bird's eggs. So they have to find somewhere to hide and to protect themselves. They also need shelter to protect them from the elements, just like we do. That means to protect them from wind, rain, snow, all of those things that we like to have a roof over our heads for. Birds also need shelter from those elements too. Now on here I've drawn a couple of different types of bird shelters because not all birds have the same type of shelter. We're all used to seeing a bird nest that looks something like this and there are plenty of birds who have nests like that but it turns out that there are also many other ways that birds make their nests. Birds also can use shelters that humans have created like this birdhouse. So let's look at a couple of the different types of shelters that birds use. So first, let's take a look at a robin's nest. This is a nest that is very much like what I think of when I think of bird's nest in my mind. It's sort of circle shaped. It's made out of sticks, twigs, maybe a little grass. It looks like it's on a tree branch. So this is one type of nest and robins are a bird that we find in our area all the time. So this is a type of nest you may have even seen before. Now here is a similar nest. It's made out of sticks and it's in a tree, but there's something different about it. What's different about it? Well, for one, it's much bigger. Why would this nest be bigger? Of course, because the birds that live in it are bigger. These are red-tailed hawks. And if you watched my morning message video, you'll see that there are lots of red-tailed hawks living in our area and even on the Fernleaf campus. Now here's another bird you may have seen before by your home or by school. It's called a pileated woodpecker. And if you have never seen one, I can almost promise you that you've heard one because they are some loud birds. And here we can see a couple of baby pileated woodpeckers and it looks like they're sticking their head out of a hole in a tree. So this bird is making its nest inside of a tree. Why do you think a bird would want to make a nest somewhere like that? Now let's look at a bird called the little grebe. It is sitting on its nest. What do you notice that's different about this nest? Yeah, that's right, it's on the water. A bird needs to make its nest within its habitat. And if that bird's habitat is a wetland, a lake, a pond, or a river, or even the ocean, then that animal might need to build its nest there too. So it looks like this grebe has found some, maybe some seaweed or some algae, some sticks, and it's built up its nest on the water. Some bird nests can even float on the water. Now let's look at some different types of nests from birds all over the world. This bee eater dug itself a nest out of the side of a cliff. This weaver bird wove itself a hanging nest out of grass. This tailor bird is doing a really great job of using the materials it has available. So it finds some fresh leaves and it actually sews the leaves together using spider silk to make itself a nest. Why would a bird want its nest to look like a leaf? Hmm, think about what we've studied this year. Why would an animal want to blend in to its habitat? 
birds like this Gen 2 penguin might have to just work with what they've got. If you live in the Antarctic, you might not have plants, sticks, leaves, and grass to build a nest. So this bird makes its nest out of rocks. Check out the nest of this house sparrow. House sparrows are some of the most common birds that you'll see. And when I look at its nest, I see some natural materials like leaves and grass and twigs, but I also see some things that look like they might have come from humans. A bird is going to use whatever it has available in its habitat. So if you live close to humans, you might use some of their materials to make your nest. Can you tell where this bird built its nest? It's in a traffic light. Maybe this bird wanted to use the shelter of the traffic light to keep its babies safe, warm, and dry. If the bird's habitat is the city, then this might be the perfect spot for it to build a nest. So what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to ask you to pretend that you're a bird. Your habitat is your house and your yard, and your job is to build a nest. So you can use any materials that you can find. But remember, a bird isn't able to go to the store and buy materials. It has to find things in its environment. So I would like you to look outside in your environment or even inside in the recycling bin. And I want you to build a nest that you would use if you were a bird to keep yourself safe from predators and to keep your eggs dry. When you're finished, I would love to see a video or a photo of your bird's nest. So please ask an adult to upload a picture to this assignment so I can see your awesome habitat. And this is a two day project, which means you can work on it today and tomorrow. All right, birds, have fun. Bye.